Hi, and welcome to another episode of Aquavino's Cooking with Gino. I am Joe, and the man to my right is the man who needs no introduction whatsoever, but I'll give it to you anyway. It's Aquavino's head chef, Mike Gino. Chef, great to see you again. What are we whipping up today? Oh, old school chicken riggies. Old school chicken riggies. And if you're gonna make something great, you're gonna make something that has roots in Utica and the Mohawk Valley, you gotta have a guy who has roots in Utica and the Mohawk Valley and somebody who is so synonymous with this area, a guy who drives you to work every day with his morning talk show, we have Mr. Bill Keeler. Hello, Bill. How are you? Come on, right in the middle, right in the middle. You're doing the hard work. You gotta stand oh, in front of the heat. That's it's awesome. right. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. So stand in front of the heat and let's see if you can stand it. All right, Bill, Chef Mike Gino, we are making original old school chicken. The original rigs. chicken riggies. Okay. Where is the heavy cream? Uh, there's no cream. Oh. There is no cream in the original chicken riggies. And you chicken riggies were invented. This name was invented in Clinton. And you were there. I was there. I was there at the Clinton house. Back in the late 70s, uh, two guys by the name of Richie Scamardo and Bobby Hazleton owned it. And a bunch of VIP people on a Monday night were playing cards. They used to come in and play cards. And they wanted something to eat. And he says, make something with chicken and, and uh, throw some cherry hot peppers in it. And a week went by and they wanted the same thing, make those chicken riggies. And that's where the name Chicken Riggies was, came from. So and you're... You're basically a hero. Nah, I don't, I'm not sure about being a hero, Joe. He's a hero. <laughs> I think so, too, Bill. Yeah, I, I think, think he so is. Too. All right, so what are we doing? We got some pasta that's we on the boiling water right now. We know it's going to take already. a little bit, so we threw it in yeah, ahead of time. Absolutely. What are we looking at as far as our ingredients go? We have some green peppers, cherry peppers, cherry peppers butter, some onions, parmesan, looks like uh, uh, tomatoes. We have uh, and tomatoes. a little bit of chicken. That's it. So let's cook. Very simple. All right, first things first. We're tossing the chicken in some flour because right. we have to. Yeah, well, we're coating it. Yeah, and you know that, Joe. We're going to get things nice and our, our gravies, our sauces thick this way. So we're coating our chicken in some flour because eventually we're going to throw some stock in there. We're going to be throwing some liquids in there that yeah. something has to bind those liquids that's up, right. and that's what that flour coating is going to do, right? Yeah. All right, so we are browning our chicken with Bill and Mike Gino, who is the father of chicken riggies. You are the chicken riggies godfather. Uh, You're so humble. Yeah, yeah, chicken riggies godfather. You're yeah. so humble. Now, Bill's first question was, where's the cream? Now, that's a um, very good question. Well, looking because, around, we haven't gotten to the sauce well, yet. Well, because everybody added their own thing after. Who put cream in it? Uh, um, who, people who argue added, about it, saying. Who, who added mushrooms yeah. in but, but this is, this, never, there was never ever any cream in it. I think they thought there was cream in it because of the Romano cheese, made it look pink. But in the beginning, there was no, there was no cream in it. I didn't put no cream in it. And you're the godfather. I, I was the how, do you stop the, the, how do you stop the cheese from kind of clumping up a little bit when you put it in? Your cheese? Yeah. Well, or am I just doing right something here. really wrong when you I make know, it I doing something really wrong, but I would add some onions. Okay, cool. We'll add onions Throwing now. some onions in the pan. So right now, it's nothing more complicated than just some uh, lightly floured chicken breast that's, that's been cut it. up. We got some onions in there. We got a little bit of olive oil. We're going to throw cherry peppers in. Now, this is my favorite part of the area's cuisine, cherry peppers. Joe loves cherry peppers. I love cherry peppers. They add so much flavor, a little tang, a little heat, a lot of uh, a lot of really nice Stir it up a little bit, David, flavors Joe. and smells come from these cherry peppers. Kind of All right, Bill, so you're asking about it. I was asking about it. Are yep. you a cream guy in your riggies? No. No? I try to make them as... You're uh, like them old school. I go old school, Were you yeah. playing the poker or the card game at the restaurant when... I was uh, not there then. I was there. probably in junior high school at that time. <laughs> so. Even though I look very old, thank you. But, uh, I was young. Okay. I'll take your word for it. You are cooking my food after all. It'd be a terrible idea right. to insult you. Ooh, that's SPG. SPG. Hey, hold on. Trivia time. SPG. It's the foundation of Mike Gino's cooking. Bill, what do you think SPG is? Well, SPG. I would assume that that is salt. Yep. Pepper. Yep. And ginger. ginger. I mean garlic. 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 Exactly. SPG. Salt. Pepper. Garlic. Not ginger. Uh, but I think you knew that. Yep. So chicken's getting nice and brown. This actually looks really good. Um, we could add our tomatoes. Okay. Going in with the tomatoes. Crush them up. 
I don't want you to get dirty, uh, Bill. That's good. I appreciate that. So I'll just, make quite You are doing such a good job. We might put you to work at the restaurant. Listen, you let me know. <laughs> what if you guys traded jobs for a day? I think that would be uh, interesting. I don't know if I could do that. You couldn't do radio, Mike? Uh, no, no, oh, you're pretty sure. entertaining. Oh, thanks, sir. I think it'd be a bad day at the restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. You're making these chicken riggies that look unbelievable. Well. And they're the traditional chicken riggies, right? No cream, no, no, I don't no. know what else goes in the chicken riggies that you've seen. No cream, in the day. a little bit of that stock. We're going to add a little bit of stock. So our pasta's done. It's done. It's all done, And what kind of pasta are we using? I bet you can guess. Chicken riggies, yo. Rigatoni, right? There you go. You learn something new every day, don't you? Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of butter. Now, when he says a little bit of butter, that's a, you know, a, little, a bit little bit of butter. butter. A little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. And we can lower this down. So that's already, we can see that getting a little bit thicker. We're going over the top of the pasta with it. Oh. That looks so good. Everything about that looks uh, just... It looks delicious, and it looks like it's going to have some good heat in it, and it looks like it's going to have a lot of uh, really nice textures and flavors. And so this cheese is going to kind of lighten things up a little bit, isn't it? Oh, boy, look at that. It's already so, creaming up. It looks really good. Uh, does it look pink now? It mm -hmm. does. It's getting there. A and little bit, so, right? Yeah, it it's is. a grated cheese, I think they thought. You know, who knows? I don't know. So but we could plate this up, Joe. you got plates down there. Chicken sure. Riggies is made by Bill Keeler. He and I are going to go I really eat. didn't do much. But yeah, you did. You did the whole thing. Yeah. This is traditional chicken Riggies. <laughs> and you made them for us, Bill. Let's go eat. What do you say? I'm ready. I'm starving. We are ready to eat uh, a Utica institution with a Utica institution. So we have some <laughs> chicken Riggies, which the are... chicken Riggies are a little older than me. Still. They're, yeah, but they're really. so they're synonymous with the area, and I they think are. that you're that way too. There's so many people who are such dedicated listeners to your show, and and uh, you know the information and entertainment that you bring to people is is fantastic. And I think These that good. I think it's good that we're eating something that is so Utica with a guy who is so Utica. These have a little spice to them. <coughs> it's just that, the way I like. Is that the spice? I. I think these are so good. Oh, they do. They do. They're so good. It's not they as rich as what you might get mm -hmm. in a restaurant, but that's yep. the difference between the traditional style that Chef was telling us about and kind of the new school version of the Riggies that they're making. But it's just. Uh, these are really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it is a. That's a key because you really want to have those cherry peppers give it that spice. I love the little bit of spice that's coming through. And it might be more than a little bit of spice. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> but usually, There's a lot. when they let you go, you can order mild, medium, spicy, right? Because because every place is going to be able to control those. But and this is why I love Michael Gino because you're talking about somebody who was there, um, somebody who understands the way it really was. And I'm a tradition. I like things the way they were because there's such unbelievable history in Utica. Some crazy stuff. Yeah. When I'm back then. Um, so I, I love it like this, because it's the way it was supposed to be. When you're eating traditional chicken riggies, you get to experience a little bit of heat and a little bit of history. And it was so much fun learning about where chicken riggies were first cooked, how they've changed over the years, and the best ways to prepare them. Many thanks to Bill Keeler, who took his time out of the day to come and join us and, and cook and make this delicious plate. Of course, to Chef Mike Gino from Aquavino for putting his skills on full display. And our friends at MVCC and their culinary school and their wonderful facilities that they continue to let us use. This has been another episode of Aquavino's Cooking with Gino, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>